Hi Scorpio, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you're all doing well. If you're someone new here, I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance on seeing some of the readings that I do on my channel. They could resonate with you big time. My returning subscribers, I love and appreciate you all so, so much. Truly, deeply. Scorpio, this is going to be your June, July monthly love reading. 2022. Yes, June and July. I'm going on vacation. Got to do it this way. June and July. Oh, Scorpio, your cards are like flowing together nicely. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. <laughs> cards are falling out. They're not upright. Scorpio, June. July 2022 in love. Yes. Perfect. Scorpio, this is going to be a good reading. I just feel it. Um, the Emperor, sign of Virgo. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. I love in this deck the heart which oh i am using crystal visions i also have a deck for sale plastic is still on it if you could see that i hope there you go 30 dollars that includes shipping send me a message i want crystal visions Queen of Pentacles. You're definitely dealing with a Virgo. Three of Cups. Temperance. Right in the center of your reading. Page of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Page of Wands. Magician, Virgo, Gemini. Bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. Very nice. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Both come through. Virgo, both come through, through strongly. Let's start with those of you that are single. Could have a very significant relationship coming in. Those of you that are coupled and maybe struggling,
this feels like unity, a matter. What is it that, you know, you could do, definitely work together and stay together. With the Hermit, some of you definitely could be dealing with a Virgo. Uh, you know, others of you could be soul searching, needing some space to figure out what it is that you want from your partner, vice versa. The person that you're dealing with might need some space with the ace of pentacles queen of pentacles here and the magician represents virgo and the lovers and the magician represent gemini so if you if you did ask for some space with the hermit i feel like someone is doing a lot of soul searching i do see why they want like where they want to be, you know, as far as the relationship or do they want to be alone? But I strongly feel there will be a positive outcome to this because you do have a lot of stable, grounded new beginnings with the Ace of Pentacles. So... If one of you need some time to figure things out, I see new beginnings, like, really surrounding you. Even if someone left a relationship, there's a very unexpected new beginning with the lover's card. If it's something, you know, that ended for whatever reason... I still see you connected to this person. Look at this lover's card, really. That's a soulmate energy in this deck for me. There's no decisions. There's nobody behind them. That's it. If it's something that ended for whatever reason, I, I see you're connected to this person. Three of Cups, there's a lot of happiness here. You're celebrating something very positive has happened. This is joy, laughter, good times, getting out and about, spending time with your friends, which will be good for you because... You are temperance. You know, you're being asked to be patient. Like I always say, this is your guardian angel guiding you and protecting you on the path that you're meant to be on. Also about balance. Try to keep things nice and balanced. You're receiving communication with the Page of Pentacles. that you've been hoping for but this also ties in with the hermit and I do feel like you're going to have to look at things carefully because someone is really not understanding what they want from you or vice versa you them with the page of pentacles I mean someone is looking very closely at their feelings for you and it's more earth energy here. Could be your your energy, especially if you have earth in your chart. But someone is definitely looking very carefully, very closely at the relationship or the marriage. Again, I see you being told to be patient. And I do see a lot of spiritual energy surrounded with the hermit, temperance, a lot of divine energy. So just be patient because I do see you being very, very happy. Ace of Pentacles, there's a new beginning here. I also see you staying together with the lovers. 
You know, with the Four of Cups, it's, it, this is someone that is unhappy. It is your energy, Scorpio. You're feeling emotionally bored, depressed. There's this sense of you isolating yourself, but this definitely is going to change. It's going to change. You have the damn magician. And this is saying stay empowered. You're probably don't even realize that you're in control or Virgo or Gemini is. If it's a Virgo, I mean, they're going to go for it. They're going to go for you. Page of Wands, communication seems to be important. Some of you definitely have exciting communication coming in. It's great news. And you might feel, you know, a little bit unhappy. Maybe someone ended things with you. Or maybe someone just doesn't know how they feel about you. Because I really do get this feeling for who, whoever this reading is for. That someone did ask for some space. Whether it was you or them. Unhappiness, sadness. But there's a sudden change. Where things get exciting. An exciting change. A new adventure. Starting down a new path. The magician. Needs to do something about it. Your love life is totally in your hands. Some of you definitely can be can change this unhappy energy the four of cups could even be energy with the four of cups this could even be wanting more than what you currently have within your relationship you could change this Scorpio by communicating what you really want to your partner your spouse your ex Things are going to get exciting. They really are. Okay, we're going to clarify. Using the after tarot, what comes next? These are future predictions. I love this deck. Hermit, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Pentacles, Chippers, Grammys, Hermit, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Scorpio. Take the two that flipped up. Ace of Swords. Four of Swords. Some of these. Someone's taking a break. But they're coming back with the truth. Clarity. Honesty. Three of Cups. Magician. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Four of Cups, Page of Wands, Magician. Okay. Hierophant. This is definitely a relationship. Absolutely. And the Six of Pentacles. There is someone, like, taking a step back because they need time to think about it. 
you know, <laughs> with the Four of Swords, to figure out what it is that they want. Again, someone's taking a break, looking at a very something very carefully. For some of you, a relationship needs space. For others of you, relationship needs time to heal. And this healing energy is over with the Ace of Swords. Absolutely fits in. You're getting the clarity, truth that you need. And it's a new beginning. You know, it could be the relationship needs time to heal. Healing energy with, you know, with temperance. They're definitely a lot of thinking, whereas, you know, you or them, I think it's them. Maybe somebody doesn't know this, but, you know, a hierophant, that there is a soulmate connection here. You belong with this person. It's, it's being committed. It's the same message. So if you're someone that has asked for some space, you know, or the relationship ended to figure out what you want or they wanted with the Six of Pentacles. This is generous energy, give and take, getting what, it, what you want. When it comes to your love life, there just needs to be communication. And I absolutely see that coming through. A lot of communication. For you, Scorpio. And it is a soulmate relationship. I think it's a Virgo. It could be a Gemini. But you have a lot of earth energy here. Okay, Scorpio. Great reading. Love it. Love you guys. And I'll see you back here soon with your July monthlies because I have to get them out early. I'm going on vacation. Bye. See you soon.